What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Audrey B. And I'm back for another review of Abbott Elementary. Um, this episode title is called New Tech. Now, let's get into the video. All right. So, I'm in another location. It's got some stuff going on. But, that's neither here nor there. Let's get into it. So, the show opens up with um, Janine in her classroom teaching them Philly slang or AAVE. Like, basically, slang and ebonics that they use around Philadelphia. Um, Barbara comes in like, girl, what are you doing? Like, that's not the way that she's supposed to teach. And she's just like, I'm connecting with them. This is the stuff that they, this is the language that they use. Like, just let me do my thing. Like, I, I got it. So she walks out. She's like, huh. Just basically like, whatever. So, um, you know, because Barbara's like the no-nonsense teacher. So then we jump to a staff meeting in the library early morning. Don't we all just love those good old staff meetings? Um, with Ava, the principal, my girl. And she's basically telling the teachers in certain grades that they will be receiving a new reading technology and that will, well, that is supposed to boost the kids' reading scores and help them, you know, if they're, you know, on their levels. And, of course, everybody was kind of like, oh, yeah, you know how it goes. Like, when you're introduced to something new, you just got to go with the flow, even though you really don't know what's really going on. So, we see that um, Barb is kind of like has some type of vibe some type of negative energy and Janine you know like I said always just like yes this is something new it's gonna help the kids and Barbara was kind of hesitant kind of standoffish like I don't know how I feel about this like I'm I teach the kids the way that I want to teach the kids it's been working why change it but Janine was like, come on, just give it a chance. Like, this is something that, you know, I've heard good things about this. Like, it's something that's good. And she's just like, basically, like, no, my old school way is good. Like, I don't need new technology. I don't need anybody coming up in my area trying to tell me how to teach my kids. And I've been doing it for however amount of years. Like, no. So then she's like, um, to her, she, Barb, she thinks that there's going to be like this some young person coming in teaching everybody stuff but to her surprise in walks this older man and she's kind of like you're gonna teach us how to use this technology and to me kind of made me feel like um like she was basically like hating like like I said no nonsense stuck in her own ways um isn't w willing to let go of tradition isn't re really ready to get with the times. Like, we, we've been around plenty of people, not just in the school system, but everywhere. Not ready to get with the times, not ready to do what needs to be done. Um, to make stuff a little bit easier, not willing to, like, step out of their comfort zone, right? And so, she's kind of like, you know, we see everybody's going through the technology. They're getting new tablets. And everybody's like, are you understanding this? Are you understanding that? And then Barb, <laughs> we see that she hasn't even got past the first screen. But, of course, when, when asked if she needed help, asked how it was going by Janine and maybe another teacher, she was just like, I got it. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm getting it. I'm getting along. So, um, basically, she's just like, like I said, super confused on what she's doing. to another scene um, in the break room with the guys. And um, the other male teacher is talking to Greg about basically everybody that's in that break area. Kind of putting him up on game. Like, you know how people do when you're new to the job and they want to tell you, you know, these are the people you trust. These are the people that be starting the drama. These are the people that are messy. These are the people that you don't need to be around. You know, that person's cool. Like, you can talk to them. You can trust them. So, he's kind of like, um, you know, kind of giving him the run around of the people. And the other teacher overhears and she's basically like, what you talking about? And he comes up with this, like, whole lie about, like, I'm teaching my kids about, like, the, the union, the police, I believe, and uh, of South Philly and all the other stuff. And she's, like, basically, like, oh, well, I know all about that. Like, I grew up in that time. Like, my family knows people who, you know, were were in that stuff. So, like, I, I, could, I should be able to come in and teach. And he's, like, oh, okay. And then, of course, you know, basically looking at her or explaining to Greg that she's kind of, like, this rough around the edges type teacher from South Philly. And... 
not really thinking how that could come across, not really thinking about stereotypes, biases, and all those other things that we learned about that we shouldn't do, but people still do it. So she's like, hey, I want to basically bring in somebody that I know had you know, something to do with that so your kids can get kind of like a real life lesson. He was like, okay, cool, whatever, let, let's do it. Um, and so then we jump back to um, Barbara and Janine. And she's in her classroom, still trying to figure out how to work this tablet. And, you know, just, she's just like, oh, like, I just, I just can't do it. But then here comes Janine, you know, hyper bubbly, like, hey, how's it going? Like, um, you know, and it's a Janine, she believes wholeheartedly that um, Barbara knows what she's doing. Like, she's like, oh, I, did, I didn't think you could catch on because, you know, I want to help you if you don't. And Janine, I mean, Barbara was kind of like. Now I'm good. Like, I got it. I understand it. So she took that to heart. Like, Janine really believed her. So um, she comes into class, like I said, although she knows that um, that Barbara has always been that hesitant type, like prideful, like don't want to ask for help, don't want to tell nobody what's really going on. She'll figure it out. She, like I said, she took it to heart. And she was just like, so, you know, just asking her, you know, how she feels about it, how telling her how she's excited about it, and how, like, is it really going to help the students? So basically... Um, Janine kind of, um, when they go off to the screen to her, like, confessional type, she's basically like, if she's not going to ask me for help, like, I'm just going to give it to her anyway, and then, no, I take it back, she said, if she's not, um, if she's not going to ask, I'm just going to go ahead and, and, and just wait for her to ask me for help, which, again, she never did it, so she took it to her, then, you know, she knew what she was doing, and we see that, um, Barbara is basically like, you know what, I'm done with the tablet. I'm done with the new technology. I'm done with the reading program. I don't know what I'm doing. There's not there's not been anything going on with the way that I normally teach. So I'm going to continue to do it and let these people think whatever they want to think about me. I'll input some stuff. Call it a day. Unbeknownst to her, what she did flipped her whole little scenario all the way around because we hear Ava make this announcement over uh on the speaker that um she learned that Barbara's class which is kindergarten by the way um had like the highest scores in this reading program and they're on the level um of fourth grade reading and so she was just like everybody clap your hands congratulate her when you see her and she's just standing around like oh lord what did it do <laughs> so I was like, oh my gosh, like I know she probably felt crazy, like just putting in stuff. No, no, she did just leave, just leave stuff then, alone. Um, you know about, it jumps no. to, I believe, Janine and Greg, and they're in the hallway, and he wants to hang out with her. And she's like, I have to go with my boyfriend to pick out a mattress or something like that, but you're more than willing to um, tag along. He's like, eh, no, because. Like I said, in my first review of this, I feel like there's going to be some type of romance between them. So, mark my words. Mark my words. He's going to get her away from their loser boyfriend. And they're going to ride off into the sunset together. Um, so, um, at first, so then they go back to Barbara and Janine. Because at first, when um, when Janine was kind of saying, like, at telling Barbara, you know, that like she believed her and stuff, like, was it just me or did you think that she was being sarcastic like she kind of just was just like okay because of course we know she always wants to help so she was being sarcastic kind of going with the flow but really wanting to help but unbeknownst to me homegirl was really like i said wholeheartedly believing everything she said so there ended up being a um assembly that ava wanted Barbara's class to be in because she didn't done invited people to come and see this very super smart intelligent kindergarten class who can read on fourth grade level and she wanted um her to pick a student to <laughs> to uh to read and you know be I guess it was televised or whatever so she picked a student who she knew so Barbara picked a student who she knew um could memorize this Jack and Jill book and y'all this little baby. All he wanted to do was dance. And I was rolling at this point because when I tell y'all some of the students that I have had in class, they come up to me and literally be like, Miss Audrey. And they'll just bust out into 
into the 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 most trendiest TikTok dance. They know it better than me. Like they they could teach a class. Like they could tell us what to do, what we're doing wrong, all of that. So and that little boy, he was just getting down. He was just dancing. That's all he wanted to do. And I, and, and Barbara was just looking like, oh my gosh. And this whole time she had been like prepping him for it because she said she had read that book millions of times and he's basically memorized it. And she wanted him to just get up and read it and call it a day. So, um, everybody's again coming in, congratulating her and her class. Um, and she's still trying to keep up with this lie. Janine basically came and gave this like little, you know, pep talk. Like, I'm so glad that, you know, you understood this technology. I'm so, um, I admire you. I want to be just like you. Like, at first I thought you, you know, you were one of those teachers who just didn't want to change. But I see that you are. It just makes me feel so happy. Da, 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 da. And then, so they call the little boy up on stage. He's like, uh. And then all of a sudden, we see Barb. She takes the mic and basically lets the cat out of the bag that she didn't know nothing about the technology. She just put in random stuff and had no idea what she was doing and how she was embarrassed. And then it cuts to Janine, and Janine's like, I can't believe she lied to me. So that's what made me feel like, oh, well, maybe she wasn't being sarcastic. Maybe, you know, she really did believe her. So, yeah. So I was kind of, like, shocked about that part. But, yeah, that may be all he wanted to do was dance. That's all he wanted to do. He just kept doing it. He was so cute. I think they said his name was, like, William or something. So, um, then, and all of this, this... Is it me or does this show go by so fast? I was sitting there trying to make notes, y'all, washing dishes, cooking, all of that stuff. But I, I wanted to make sure I got this review out, you know, right after the show went off. So, your girl be in there working. Um, so, then we see that um, the teacher had invited, you know, her guests to come and speak in... Um, and I think his name is Jacob, y'all. I gotta, I gotta remember. It's late. I'm, I'll put it here if it's not his name. But um, she invited her guest in, and he was basically like giving his class like the real, real of what went on around the time period in which the teacher was teaching. And he was kind of like, "Who is this guy? Like, I thought you were gonna make bring in somebody like a police officer or police captain and all the other stuff. Like, you brought in somebody who was in and out of jail and." doing the most like writing and everything and she was like well basically like you got to teach them from all perspectives like you can't just what did you say romanticize history to make it fit into what you want to make it fit into like you got to give these kids the real like that's what they need and I totally totally agree because I feel like a lot of that's going on now with some states not wanting to be you know black history like the real real deal black history being taught in their classroom and like it's got to go through laws and, and bills passed and all this stuff I feel like tell the kids the truth you know what I mean and 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 tell it all and preferably the kids will bring about a change in the future right and she also kind of wanted to teach him a little lesson about like I said stereotyping people being biased about certain things and we see that they have that conversation towards the end, you know, where she just told them, you know, keep up in mind. Like, don't, like, don't just teach what you want to teach. Like, learn your students. Tell them the truth. Um, don't be stereotypical. And even though you may not realize that you're doing it, that's how you're coming across. And I feel like that is probably, not probably, I feel like that goes on a lot with teachers, especially older teachers. Um... Not older teachers, but teachers who teach higher grade levels or whatever. So, um, I like that little, that kind of like other type of storyline that was going on in the episode today. Um, so then, like I said, they were um, at the assembly. And then, towards the end, we see Barbara and Janine again. And they are talking. And she basically comes up to Barbara like, hey, like... I, I can't believe you lied. And and Barbara basically told her what we all figured out in the beginning was that her pride was in the way. And then also that with all of this new fangled stuff coming up in education with technology and computer programs and all that stuff, she felt like she was too old. She felt like all this new stuff that was coming in was 
basically pushing her out and that it made her feel like, you know, her time was up and that she couldn't hang. And she just failed to admit that, you know, she didn't understand and was upset about it because it made her feel some type of way. But Janine told her, hey, just because we're younger and we're coming in and we're excited about stuff and we're more um, open to this new technological world doesn't mean we always know it. And I was like, girl, preach because... I don't know, but NTI for me, it's been okay, but I'm just now like getting the hang of Zoom and sharing screens and presenting stuff and Google Classroom and the Google Drive and all of that stuff. So it's like just because we're younger doesn't always mean that we're going to get it just like that. And she was like, so basically like, don't think that because I'm young, I know it all. And if you don't, you know, if you don't understand something, ask for help. And I feel like that was kind of like the main theme, as I always say throughout the um, the episode. If you don't understand something, ask for help, work together, and and, and let's figure it out together. Because that's kind of how um, both sets of teachers basically felt at the end of the day. Always have open mind. Don't just think that, you know, you can just go and just fly off the handle and do what you want to do when you don't know the facts or don't just think that your own way in the old way is always going to be the right way there's room for both right there's a balance um so yeah yeah and it was just um i feel like i really liked this episode it was really funny uh especially like i said with you know, Barbara lying about knowing stuff and how they kept cutting to the screen of the tablet and it said like, you um, entered the wrong uh, login too many times. Your screen will uh, be locked for such and such minutes or, you know, just her her facial expressions just when she was just like caught up in the line, didn't know how to tell the truth. And then again, her student, she was trying to get to memorize this book and he was just like, reading slow she was just like oh my gosh um and then i didn't mention when they were at the um the assembly like i said she wanted him to read that jack and jill book and she gave it to him and gave him the mic and then here comes ava the principal <laughs> well crazy so and she hands him this michelle obama book um and she's like and that's when miss barbara was like no like i got i gotta tell the truth because y'all got this baby messed up like how are you gonna read that he can't even, all he want to do is dance. And then what was even funnier was that at the end, um, we see that Ava's in her office and the little boy, the, the dancing little boy, William, I think is what his name was. He was literally reading word for word a chapter in that book. And she was just sitting there letting him read like he was, he was the little audible app. <laughs> and then Barbara saw him and took him out of the office. But that was funny because all of us. You know, watching the episode, figure like, oh, that poor baby, like, he can't even read the Jack and Jill book. And here he is reading long sentences and chapters in uh, the Michelle Obama um, uh, biography. But um, other than that, y'all, if I missed anything, make sure y'all let me know. Put it in the comments what y'all thought about this episode. I'm going to get off here because, like I said, I've been washing dishes. I've been cooking. I've been taking notes. And trying to watch Abbott Elementary, y'all, because I'm not missing this show. Like, I love this show. This show is a hit. And I'm so excited that more and more people are um, jumping on the Abbott Elementary train. And, again, I want to say, before I leave, thank you for everybody who's been liking and who's been um, commenting and who's been viewing these um, last few reviews of Abbott Elementary. Like, uh, my very first one has, like, 1.2K views. I'm like little old me but i thank you thank you thank you thank you um like i said before continue to subscribe continue to share continue to comment continue to like continue to tell your people about me um and i'll see y'all next week for another episode of abbott elementary peace